tuna. Believe me, I like them too. But at least I can catch them myself. And I know when I've got a taste for tuna, that's all I'm going to catch. Not rays or other fish. Let alone turtles or dolphins. Now you're not going to find a flipper when you open a tuna can. But given what's going on out here, I wouldn't be surprised if you did. You see, it's those bloody fads we've got to worry about. No, not those kind of fads. I'm talking about some serious death traps the fishing industry likes to call fish aggregation devices. Mouthful, isn't it? Fads lure in fish with things like logs, yes, floating logs, with satellite tracking that tuna gather around. The fads also attract other fish looking for shelter or a meeting point. And where there is so much food, the big predators are going to join in. It's like a big party. They just can't stay away. And once they've been tricked, a massive net scoops them all up. And I mean all of them. The rays, a bunch of other fish minding their own business. And look, a whole school of baby tuna, too small to be worth putting in a can, never mind growing up to have babies of their own. Maybe even the odd turtle or dolphin. You get the idea. They call that bycatch. A gross word if you ask me. They just haul it all up and toss them overboard later. If they're not dead by that point, many of them will be soon. One way to sort the tuna from everything else is using a pole and line. Not one of those fad and net death traps. Like all bad fads, they need to become history. In some countries, cans of pole and line tuna are already available, but not here in New Zealand. Still want that tuna sandwich? Oh, bugger!